Hello guys, uh, today we are here with our four lecture of uh, machine learning. Our topic is reg linear regression today and what is linear regression? Uh, this is a simple representation of linear regression. The linear regression is a type of regression where we can predict a line on graph based on some sample inputs and sample outputs and by using those sample input and sample output the line we draw is called a linear line. And this line can help us to predict any value in our graph scale. So, what is regression analysis? The representation of linear regression using an equation is called regression analysis. This is a type of regression analysis equation. So, suppose in this equation we have an independent variable which is x, and based on the value of x, we can predict y. Here, x is changeable, x is a variable, that is why x is called independent but y can be predicted based on x so if x increases there can be a case like y can increase and if x decreases there can be a case like y can decrease or vice versa based on these conditions we can say y is totally dependent on x that is why in linear regression we always have two variables one is an independent one is dependent but this is not obvious always uh, we can have more than one independent variables and based on those independent variable we can predict a dependent variable Suppose if we consider a CGP of a student is dependent upon his uh, on his uh, attendance, on his mental state, on his activities. So all of those vari uh, variables like mental state, attendance, activities are independent variable. CGP is predicted based on that. That is called uh, CGP is called the dependent variable here. So if we have more than one independent variable, that graph is called a hyperplane axis. Then we have our learning model. What is our learning model? Based on the independent variable and dependent variable we can make a table set where each independent variable draws some type of dependent variable and based on that the table is called our learning model our machine learning our machine our computer system will learn that table and based on the learning from that table our machine learning algorithm can predict any other value in the system so there are many techniques but we are going to use some of them like there's a simple linear regression there are ordinary least squares where we can we are taking squares of each value and then finding the least one least one of them. We are calculating the gradient descents and regularization. Then, so for example, let's uh, see. There's an example of students or some person where the height is actually linked to the weight. We have considered this. This is not obvious always, but uh, this is a generic case. Like if a, if someone has a larger height most probably is going to have a larger weight as well so the height is drawn on x-axis and weight is drawn on y-axis the weight is the dependent variable and height is independent based on the value of height the weight can vary so you can see when the height is 105 the weight is about 40 uh, 50 something then the height is 120 the weight is about 60 then uh, height is 135 the weight is about 65 or 70 so this is the case this line is our linear linear regression line and its graph can be drawn like this y is equal to b naught plus b1 multiply x1 where x1 is the height b naught is the graph coefficient so you can see our graph started from here so b naught is the graph coefficient like the minimal height is starting from 45 then b1 is the coefficient of multiply like what value of x is getting multiplied by what value of y so, so where weight is equal to b naught plus b1 multiply and b naught and b1 are just coefficient these are always the constant numbers these these can change anyway like you can see here b naught is set to 0 0.1 and b1 is set to 0 0.5 and based on these this graph is calculated so another thing using this equation how this equation helps us so suppose if someone says us like height is 182 tell me the weight so we can simply go to 182 we will draw a straight line and we can see like 182 is here which is 91 point something so here you can see simply we can put 182 in this linear regression equation and we are not always going to predict from that graph graph is just for the visualization we can simply put the values in the equation and this equation can calculate for us this equation is actually the linear regression equation for the data preparation, uh, we have five steps. Like we have linear assumptions, uh, we can assume values. Like we we have independent variable here and there. Then we can remove noise. Like if we see like our uh, linear data is uh, 
in some specific range but there are some points which are too far from the range so that is called the noise we can remove that then re remove collinearity if more than one data point lying to one data point then we can pick only one pair so uh, graph cannot be confused then we have Gaussian distributions as well this is again a calculation uh, strategy we will see later and the, then we can we have rescale inputs because if you have a data of input for 10 but uh, that is not uh, sufficient for you you need more data we can rescale it to like 20 or 50 data points so um, from tomorrow's lecture we will start working on linear regression numericals uh, till then please like share and subscribe the channel if you haven't uh, thank you very much goodbye